Take you through a quick little repair we had to make at the campground the other day and then also the final repair here back at the house. Kind of a common issue since your water, your plumbing system on an RV, travel trailer, whatever, comes from two different sources, either city water or your fresh water tank. There are a series of check valves in there that keep water from going in the right direction and more importantly, from going in the wrong direction. So here's what happened. We're hooked up to city water supply with a water hose in the campground. A few minutes later, noticed water coming out of the gravity fill for the fresh water tank. Reason for that is a check valve in the water pump. Keeps the water from flowing back that way and they can stick, get some debris in there, whatever. So the one option is to remove the water pump and fix the check valve. Water pump on this particular model is located right behind this panel underneath the bathroom sink. So it's not a real convenient option. It can be done. I've had the water pump out, I've changed it out, but it involves going in through this panel and also through the bottom of the cabinet in the sink, and it's just not something that I'm looking forward to doing. And you'll have to pardon the fact that I'm my own cameraman and lighting guy, but what I found is the water tank under the bed, this white hose comes out goes into that blue PEX tubing and disappears down through the floor. Here's where the PEX tubing comes through the bottom of the camper. Fortunately, this particular model, the underbelly, is pretty well exposed. The tube you see with the cap on the left is the freshwater drain. This blue PEX tubing runs back and up into the water pump. Runs back the length a few feet and up into the water pump. So we're gonna drain the water tank, obviously, before we make any repairs. Gotta get the water out of there, so we're gonna let that drain. So the repair I made at the campground was this. Just installed a quarter turn shutoff valve in that line between the tank and the pump. Like this, it's open, and now it's closed, preventing the pump, or the city water, I should say, from pressurizing the freshwater tank. Only problem with this is every time you want to be able to use the pump, you gotta crawl under the camper and open this valve. Then when you hook up to city water, you gotta shut it off. So we're gonna make an even better repair. So I carry a selection of these fittings for half inch PEX tubing. Probably a good idea for you to do that too. These will slip onto a PEX plumbing tubing and can also be removed. As you see, there's an O-ring in there. You wanna just push the end of the PEX tubing past that O-ring, it snaps in there and clips on. There's the shutoff valve. This is just a straight union if you need to hook two tubes together. Caps, I carry a couple of caps. Just in case you get a water leak and you need to cap off a line and still have the rest of your plumbing system available to use. What I did not have is a replacement check valve. That's what we got here. And you'll notice it has a little arrow that shows which way the water flows. It's spring loaded, lets water go one way and not back the other way. Got a couple of female connections for the check valve, which have 
they call them by different names, Shark Bites, Seal Tech, different brand names, but they all do the same thing. So we're gonna put that together, put it back in line where the sh quarter turn shutoff valve was. Then we won't have to mess with it each time we wanna use the pump. And we've bypassed the check valve that's in the pump itself. These have cone seals in there. So it's just a pressure seal. You just thread it on there. You don't need to use Teflon tape or anything like that. Just put them together, tighten them up, and they'll be tight. Like I said, there's a little arrow that shows the direction of the water flow. And since I'm gonna be underneath a trailer in low light, I'm gonna make this a little bit easier to keep it straight. And I'm just gonna put an arrow like that. So when I get under there, I can see it and I make sure I install this right. When I installed this shutoff valve, I had to cut a small section out of the tubing in order for it to fit. As you can see here, now the new assembly is going to be a little bit longer yet. So, we're gonna take a quick measurement here. And it looks like I'm gonna to need to cut about another inch and a half out of the tubing in order for this new check valve assembly to fit. So I've measured back an inch and a half and marked it. Have to excuse me, I'm doing this single-handedly, but then you're going to use a pair of these tubing cutters that ratchet down. And there we go. So like I showed you, there's an O-ring in here. You want to push this past the end of that O-ring or the O-ring past the end of the tube, not just up against it like that. You want to push it till it clicks. Maybe I can lay this down and get a picture the other way. I don't know. Got this end snapped on. Got the arrow pointing the right way. We're going to just snap this together up against the O-ring and then push it on past. And that repair is complete.